Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of the DHD D3 Mini Ready. Now, the Mini Ready is uh, this is a new type of quad copter you're going to be seeing coming out. Others are going to be coming out with similar versions of this, but the Mini Ready is a little box cage quad copter. Um, all of its propellers are well protected by this cage around it, and it is a you know it's pretty hefty cage. There's no way you're going to get at those propellers. The idea is to be flying around indoors and enable you to bump into objects uh, without hurting your propellers. Uh, this will do it. I can see, you know, providing very good protection. However, as you might deduce, you know, this adds quite a bit of weight to the quadcopter and also reduces the uh, aerodynamic airflow through this, this cage here. So, you know, you're not going to get the same type of flight performance as you would get as if there was no cage at all, no protection to your motors. It, it will degrade the flight performance. Um, you know, so that is an engineering trade-off. But again, this is designed for and intended for beginner flyers to learn to fly. Those that are going to be bumping into objects, this will protect the quadcopter. So this should be pretty tough. Um, it comes with a carrying case that you can carry the Mini Ready in. And the carrying case also serves, as you can see, as its controller. And the controller buttons on this. So this is your rate button for uh, adjusting the speed of the quadcopter. It gives you greater pitch and greater control of the quadcopter. You know, um, but uh, if you leave it in low rate, it's very gentle control, uh, for, again, for beginner flyers. Um, you can flip the quadcopter, supposedly. I, I can't see this being a good flipper, but we'll find out. By pressing this button here and telling it which direction to flip. In fact, I'm gonna do that right away as soon as we get into the air. You can adjust the gyros of the quadcopter by bringing down and out of the, the sticks while the quadcopter is sitting on a flat and level surface. That will stabilize the quadcopter if it starts acting screwy. You know, uh, um, you can stabilize those gyros by landing it on a flat level surface and then moving both sticks down and up. It does have a headless mode, which you activate by pressing that button here, and also one key return, which you activate by pressing that button there. And this also has pitch and roll trim buttons for pitch, uh, controlling pitch and roll. So let's turn this thing on and place it on my landing pad here and turn on the transmitter and bind it to the quadcopter by moving the left stick, the throttle stick up and down. Okay, I moved the left stick up and down and now it's bound to the quadcopter and it is on. And let's take to the air and the first thing I want to do once we get into the air is go to higher rate and try a flip. It wants to move to the left so its gyros do need to be calibrated so we're going to land it and that looks flat and level there actually relatively flat and level and moving both sticks down and out and going back into the air again now it does have a headless mode <laughs> okay let's go up there and try to flip it wants to it's building up a uh, there's no wind folks but it's building up a drift. Let's see if I can find a flat level surface again to uh, calibrate it. That would be probably this surface here. But it's building up a drift as it flies. Down and out again. Went back into the air. Okay, it's in headless mode, so we're going to fly it in headless mode for reason being, this thing is hard, hard to uh, maintain orientation on. <laughs> but it doesn't, isn't very responsive. Going back to, turn headless mode off. Which way is the front on this thing? Okay, that's the front. <laughs> Again, you're probably going to want to fly this in headless mode. <laughs> it came toward me there. <laughs> fly this in headless mode. I'm flying it normal though. I got headless mode turned off, but trying to maintain uh, orientation is very difficult. You also might want to try a color code. <laughs> you know, put a piece of color tape on it to uh, tell which direction. Now I got let go of the sticks and it's just taken off. So, it builds up a drift quite easily. Not very maneuverable, <laughs> but it's not meant to be. It's meant to learn to hover. 
and that's about it. <laughs> and do basic flips. And it's getting harder to stay in the air, which means its, it's batteries are probably getting a little bit weak. I'm, I'm just, I have to follow it, folks, because I am in max pitch and high rate too. You know, it's got a drift on it, and I'm fighting it with max maximum pitch. See? <laughs> and I can't seem to get that drift out. Well, the lights are blinking, which is telling me, it's got lights on the side of it, which is telling me that it is almost out of juice. This front light is blinking too. We'll see what happens when it does run out of juice. And it's, it appears to be slowing down. And <laughs> and it's starting in the air. I thought it'd be falling out of the air by now, but no. Boy, it's got a weird drift on it now. Weird ass drift. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> got to cut that out <laughs> but still flying still flying let's land it for a second folks this is flat level surface as flat as it'll get I think I'm still in headless mode too. Turn off headless mode. No, that's headless mode. That's not. So calibrating one more time and taking to the air. Well, that gyro cal didn't seem to do much for it. Still got a lot of drift on it. Max forward pitch. And we are out of juice. That's it. So that's the mini ready, folks little box quadcopter uh, intended for indoor flight I can tell you right now <laughs> mainly indoor flying um, for beginners learning just to hover it provides plenty of protection but it is not very maneuverable so <laughs> don't expect a maneuverable flyer because of the way it's designed so I hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out